This is the Open C Map tool. I really like this tool. I thought it was very neat. Um, it's a nautical map that provides a global map with a searchable tool with GPS or location. Um, I like this because it shows depth. Um, so if you go up here to the very upper left, where this little, little box is with a little magnifying glass, this is where you type in your location. So I'm going to type in Temecula, California. Here we go. Here's a little pin. It shows me where I'm at. Okay. So, so I just drag it over here to the coast. I thought this was really cool because here it just shows me depth. Okay. Now I can view this with weather. I can see it by sea marks, harbors, tidal scale. Not sure what sport is, but aerial photo, aerial photo, coordinate grid, elevation profile, marine profile, Wikipedia, marine traffic, compass rows, water depth, depth comp contours. So what I thought for students doing their underwater seismic sensors, you know, this is really helpful to them because they're able to, to look by, you know, they need to know water depth. So they can do this in by 10 meter, sorry, they need to know, they can either do this in 10 meter marks or 100 meter marks. Um, they need to know you know, elevation profiles. They need to know C marks. They need to know their tidal scale. Um, they can look at this with or without aerial photos. You know, the aerial photos help them if they're using other maps. Um, a marine profile, they have a lot of other options, but they actually need to have some of this information in order to be able to do their, their designs. So I think this is really helpful to them to be able to look at, you know, placement of wherever they would place their seismic sensors. You know, if they wanted to place it, you know, here, you know, that's not very deep, but if they placed it out here, let's say, you know, that's a thousand feet down, that, that's pretty deep. So where they place it may make an impact of where they, you know, where they, where they you know, what, what they do. So I thought this was really, really cool. I don't know. That's just me. But anyway, this is Open Sea Map tool. And um, this is useful for students that need their scientific data in order to do mathematical analysis for their project.